Hello YouTube! We are on the Soulcraft server right now and the first thing I'm going to show you is I've caught a baby zombie. Um, I was doing a little work, I was trying to get a bat to spawn in my dome because I had a bunch of bats originally and I thought how cool it would be to have pet bats. So I got a bat to spawn, I used a name tag on it. I don't know if someone killed it, if it drowned itself, or what happened, but it's gone so I've abandoned that dream. Uh, if I ever decide to catch a bat I'll try something different. But in the process, I had a baby zombie that I just didn't have the heart to kill. Because it's a baby villager zombie. So I tossed some armor onto him so he wouldn't despawn. Essentially a free name tag. And he's just been chilling out here in the enchanting pit. I figured maybe one or two things would happen. He would start reading and become a little bit more civilized. Uh, or he'd learn magic and obliterate everything. But he's just a cute little guy. So this is where he lives now. Sometimes he gets out. Uh, and I have to just run around in circles till he falls back in. But beyond that, he's our little friend. We don't, we, I'm not sure what I'm going to name him yet. But for now, he's just going to run around. I might name him Bam Bam since he's carrying around that, uh, that bone. And I like to picture him he's just in there hitting books trying to figure out what they are. Uh, but he's there for now. Also, I've done more work on the dome. We have this nice little area here. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these spots yet. I've thought about, you know, making each one look like a different biome. I've also thought about just, you know, making like a park kind of area, like I said originally. Uh, all these torches here are to denote areas where I need to put redstone lanterns with the uh, weighted pressure plates above them. So let's say, oh, heavy. I thought it said hidden, and I'm like, they're not really all that hidden. You can clearly see them like the ones in there, but I got a nice little fountain here. Not sure if I want to make the fountain deeper or leave it like that, but I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, you know, everyone makes fountains in Minecraft, so I'm like, I'm no different. Fountains are easy, they take up a good amount of space, um, but I felt it worked out very nicely with the way I had this set up. This is um, the snowflake, essentially. That's kind of what it makes me think of when you look at it from outside the dome. Oh yeah, I need to get rid of that. That was part of my... Uh, my bat testing. I wanted to see what the bats would roost on. Because uh, I just felt bad for them flying all the time. Because they won't do it on transparent blocks. And glass is just about as transparent as it gets. Um, but he's dead, unfortunately. It makes me sad. But I figured today, you know... And for now, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put grass on these just so there's something. And... Boop, there we go. That way it doesn't look too bad. And I, this makes me want to do the park. You know, maybe have one or two little trees, have a bench in one of these. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of nice, but we're going to go over here. What we're actually working on today is the main room over here. Let's eat up a little bit, because it's going to build up an appetite anyways. Better eat before we work or after we work? Hmm, that's kind of debatable. Some people would do it either way. I would think, though, if you're doing a lot of heavy lifting... It'd be better to eat afterward, because it's just not fun to lift on a heavy stomach. Uh, but today we're going to decorate this room. I've kind of already planned out a lot of it, and I think I have the right amount of items. Uh, some of them I might have a little bit more excess. But we're going to get everything set up in here so it looks like a real room. I may not use this my room as my actual spawning room. I may set it up uh, down there in that lower room with the furnaces, uh, just because there are f beds there. Uh, and this room is mainly, this This area is all for decoration. I don't plan on this being anything more than villagers and just to look pretty. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build me a bed. And I think, let's see, yeah, I think I had black wool is what I was going to want to do with that. And I, th I kind of have this, you know, I have it all drawn out how I wanted to set it up. Uh, we'll see how this works. I had a few ideas and you guys can tell me what you think of them. So, whoops, there we go. So, little storage, and I thought it'd be nice to put, you know, because I've always liked beds that have shelves, whoops, shelves right by them. So it's got shelves with a little storage trunk under that. I thought that looked kind of nice and would be effective. Um, let's see, I had a very specific block I wanted to use. Did I use half slabs? Or did I grab half slabs because I don't have any normal wood of this? No, I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Let's see. If I don't have enough of something else, I'll we'll have to come back. Uh, I think this is what I originally wanted over here. And I wanted to put a little tree. 
on top of my bed. Now, my bed doesn't look much like a bed right now. And this is something I was playing with for a while. Uh, making beds, tearing them down. And I think I came up with this one that I like. I have a, you know, black bed sheet, blue... A blue um, quilt. And at first I had, you know, I was like, how am I going to do pillows? And I realized that snow sits a little bit higher. Now those... It is a little bit higher, but I like big, comfy pillows. Yeah, there we go. So there's my bed there. Let's uh, put the bed frame on it. Did I? No, okay. I would say maybe I didn't grab everything I wanted for it. Put the bed frame on. There we go. So this is a little bedroom section. This is essentially a studio apartment. All one big room. Uh, got our pillows, our quilt, little table, little... Um, I can't think of the word now. <laughs> little area for storage and a shelving unit. And I thought this looked really nice. I've kind of played with a few different ways of setting it up in the corner here. Um, with the bed here, some different things. And I figured this was the best. Played with it the most. And it looks it looks nice. I'm not sure, you know, this part is probably the least favorite part of it. But it kind of helps this black wool stand out. Because we're going to use the black wool a little bit later. And it helps make it a little different. Uh, the next thing is actually something I messed, I wanted in my room, and I tried a whole bunch of different ways. Couldn't figure out how I wanted to do it. So I found this nice little site, uh, Minecraft Furniture, and I'm actually going to go on ahead and link it uh, after this, because I think I used it for the dresser and what I'm going to put right here. Because, you know, this right here, everyone can build this, and I wanted something a little different than what I normally do for it. And I'm not telling you what it is yet, until we actually build it. But I got... I think three things in this room. I got a dresser, what I'm going to put here, and what I'm going to put here. Just because I've always built the same things and I wanted to build a little differently. So this is what I came up with, though. So the dresser, I think that was these. Let's pop it. No, that's the wrong way. I looked at the top. I should have looked at the bottom. Should have brought my axe in here with me. <laughs> there we go. Pop them down this way. And then, there we go, there's the same wood. Oh, I may have screwed up. Let's see if I can do this. I can do that one. Can I do that one? I can, yes. Okay, so there's my dresser. Uh, doesn't really have a spot. I, I mean, I fold up most of my clothes anyways. But that way it has an area for pants and shirts and socks and underwear. Um... That way we have everything. <laughs> I said underwear. Um, there's our dresser with our bed. Uh, I think it looks really good. Dresser, I don't know. When I looked at it on the Minecraft furniture site, they had these right here on top of it to make it smaller. But you can't put those on glass, I found out. But I, I don't think it looks bad the way it is. I think it's a nice little dresser. Um, this is just a little ornamental area up here. You can put things if you want to. So this part right here, this is going to be the centerpiece of the room. We'll probably do this last. Uh, so let's work over here. This part, I usually do this part on my own because it's a desk and computer area. And I try to make it match my computer desk as much as I can. Um, granted, I don't have this rich, dark-looking wood for my desk as much as I'd love to. But let's go ahead and get this set up. We made our desk out of mahogany. It's a very rich material. Very nice. Uh, let's see, I'll put this chest right here, I think is what I wanted to do. And then shelves again. And then I'll put the chair in last. So, you know, everyone does the whole little that. I think this looks like the best for a keyboard because you kind of have the lines like a keyboard might have. And it looks really nice. And then a painting. And this is the only part because I have... Dual monitors, well, not that big, that would be awesome. Oh, that's perfect. Nice little landscape. Dual monitor setup is what I have at home here. Um, so that's what I like to always do. I use, like, double picture, and I usually have one main monitor that's right in front of me, and then I have a monitor off to the side, which is, you know, all the windows I'm not using are just windows I need to keep track of while I'm in this room. Uh, while I'm in this room, while I'm in this window, or this monitor. Uh, let's see. What else here? I wish they had something. I wish I could put a uh, button down for a mouse. That would be really nice. But then over here, I want to put my tower, my actual computer. So I've got my computer, 
my monitor and my keyboard. I think I don't think there was anything else that was going to go over here. And if you know if you know what you know you build with furniture, if you're a person who builds furniture in Minecraft and you're seeing some of this that I have, you might already have an idea what our centerpiece of our room is going to be. But I'm going to go ahead and nice little chair. This this to me, when used as a chair, looks like it's like a cushion chair. Like all these little things are actually just you know different cushions, and so it's supposed to be really comfy. I think it sets up very nicely with the desk area. I think I thought originally I'd put a plant here, but I just didn't like the way it looked like it was blocking the monitor. But that is my computer desk, computer chair, and computer. Um, this is probably a little bit nicer looking than my desk at home. My desk at home is a corner desk, and I really couldn't get that to work the way I wanted it to. So I just went with the normal desk. Uh, I like doing this here with the mo with the very dark colored wood, because just everything needs to be made out of mahogany if it's going to be like something you're going to use a lot. It's very sturdy material. But uh, okay, so the main thing I always love building... This is something I did get off of the uh, Minecraft furniture site, just because, like I said, I usually build them, and I have a certain way I like to build them, and I wanted to build it a little differently, and I played with it a few different ways, and then, you know, just just to see what they had, I went and looked, and I really liked the one I saw. So I'm going to pop this down. So here's our TV. Uh, now, I do have a big screen TV at home, so this is accurate. Granted, I don't live in one room. Well, not anymore. Uh... But let's see, I think those need to go there. And then we've got our speakers on either side. And then the stand for the TV. So there's our nice little TV right over here. We got our speakers, we got some shelving. Um, I need to look at all the different blocks, the smaller blocks, and see if there's any way. I can do something like, I don't know, like a video game console or a DVD player. Uh, best thing I could do, do I have my pick? As I could have a DVD player if I get another one of these and I come in and I put it like right there, can I? Oh, I can't put it on a half slab, so no, I can't really do that at all. I lied to you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to lie. Uh, ooh, that's actually, because the last thing I was going to do was figure out. Excuse me. Whew. Sorry about that. I started to lose my voice. I have not been feeling well lately. So, uh, <laughs> goodness, that was embarrassing. But I wanted to figure out where to put this. I think that's a good place for the clock, right above the TV. Because you're watching something, and you're like, oh, what time is it? Oh, my favorite show's on now. And you go watch it really quick. Uh, so let's see then. Oh, so I did end up with extra of those. Uh, so the last little bit here is the sofa. And I don't want to set too close to the TV. That'll hurt my eyes. Uh, but at the same time, let's see with this. I think I messed it up. No, I didn't mess it up. Yeah, that's just right. That's perfect. Uh, so then, nice little fancy looking sofa right in front of the TV. And now we just got to figure out where to put the map. Where's the map gonna go? Uh, this area over here is kind of bare by the computer. Let's just put it right there. There we go. So this right here is my room, and I do quotations because, I mean, I know that there's tricks you can do with the bed to get you to spawn away from the bed, but I think it would require glass here. I'll have to play with that if I, if I do glass all the way up to this block and see what happens because I'd like to spawn right here by it and just be like, yeah. My bed. Oh, crap. Destroyed my blanket. This is why we can't have nice things. Um, if I could make that happen where I spawn, like, right here, then I'd go on ahead and still use these chests for things. Otherwise, it's all for show. This will probably be the nicest looking room in this place because it has the most space to play with. These are going to be weird. Um, I'll have to think up some things. And I want to do each one of them different, but it's going to be really hard to make each one of those corner rooms like that a little bit unique. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. But So this is the room I've got set up for myself. I think it looks really nice. And we're actually going to go down and we're going to see uh, one other thing I wanted to show you guys. So I'll cut to that right now. Alright, YouTube. Sorry, I had to... I came originally from there, but I saw a creeper out there and I murdered him. Uh, so here is... 
the furnace, my big furnace. So you remember that used to it had four, and now it has eight. And this is based on a furnace that I saw Generic B made. I am going to put a link to his video uh, down in the description because if you guys like smelting made easy, um, I want you guys to be able to build this. If you heard the pistons go off here in a second, we're actually going to see the furnaces light up. Uh, we wait just a little bit longer, and we're going to see this fill up with eight pieces. Oh, there went the pistons again. There we go. Fills it up. So that's going to slowly smelt. Now, I'm just going to show you really quick a little bit. I'm not going to go too in-depth into it. Let's just go right on ahead. Um, you can see it, got, it has a ton of, ton of hoppers. Um, and apparently this is the basic, basic version because I took out... Uh, wait a second. Oh, okay. There's a redstone lamp there. Originally, I had part of his feature where you could turn off one side, but I didn't like it, and I wanted to do this whole little cut off with iron bars because I like the way it looked. So I have to remember to salvage that out at some point. <laughs> or I might just leave it there. It looks kind of funny. I think that piece, too, maybe needs to go. Let me just look really quick again. <laughs> yeah, that's sandstone for sure. Okay, so I'll have to uh, get some of those pieces out. Anyways, his you could turn off the left side. I i didn't want mine to be very fancy. The only thing I might fancy it up with is making the fuel source back here uh, where it'll evenly distribute instead of filling it up. Because right now it's not a smart system. It just You put stuff into this one, it's going to fill up this one until it's done. And then it's going to pass it over, fill up that one. It's just going to fill them all up from right to left. I've gone on ahead and just put one in manually on each one so that way I don't have to worry about it for a while. Um, he'll explain the whole thing in greater detail, but it's actually set up with like a lock system. Because uh, when we put something in there, let's actually go up there. Can I do it without bumping my head on something? Yeah, I can't get up here. So, if you don't know how this works, the basic version is redstone near a hopper. Uh, redstone that's on near a hopper will actually keep the hopper from dropping the items down and it'll let them go across like this. Um, when it hits this last item, so there'll be one, two, three, four. Four pieces, one in each hopper. Um, there is a fourth one, I promise, behind, under that block right there. Once it hits this one with the hopper, the hopper inverts the signal and turns this off. Now, when items are in there, this is not locked like this is. So this whole line, and we can actually turn it on to show you. There we go. So you see that whole line, you'll see it flicker. Every time it flickers, it's dropping those into the hopper below. So that'll stay a little bit longer, and that'll stay the longest, because it's waiting for this one to get an item. There we go. Once that chest is empty, it relocks it to keep uneven numbers uh, from staying in there. Because if it doesn't hit this last one, let's say it fills up one, two, and three, but can't fill up this one, these three items will just sit there, and if that's iron, uh, iron ore you need smelted, that is wasted, and it's just sitting here till the next time you smelt iron ore, uh, not helping you. You that's you know if let's say you had six of them, so that's three on each side. That's two picks, two iron picks that you could have made that you're just unable to make unless you dig it out, uh, come back here and manually retrieve it, or you have a little system like this set up so that way it'll just let it drop because when there's no power to it, any item you toss in immediately drops. So it's good to go. Um, I really like it. I'm just now kind of really learning how to use comparators like that. Uh, it works out very nice. He goes, he'll go more into depth into everything. Uh, I love watching Generic B's videos. Uh, he's really funny anyways. So you'll have a good time watching him and you'll see a really cool furnace. Uh, he makes his in the nether because he powers it with lava. I, on the other hand, uh, I don't know. Oh, because oh, I put that extra one in. Uh, I, on the other hand... Didn't want to make this in the nether and have an infinite supply of lava to it, so I'm just using coal. Uh, I've got tons of coal. Oh, actually, before I go back upstairs, uh, I changed down here how it looks. I The beds were originally in line here. This was where the wall was. So I made another layer. I pushed it in, and I actually put the beds in the wall. I've actually been sleeping in this bed here, and it's night. So we'll go on ahead and let this go through. Uh, the bed above up here... I accidentally slept in one time. I thought I clicked on this one, but when you get just close enough, you see how that little black line here 
you're actually clicking on this bed. And when you wake up in this bed, you're standing on it. And you're suffocating in the wall. And I nearly died, and I just barely broke that in time before I uh, suffocated. But I got this set up over here for the miners. I got a nice little bookshelf over here so that way they can actually, you know, read. Because let's say there's four of them over here. Let's say they go out in two and two stay to just kind of do stuff. They process the materials. They make sure nothing gets messed up in here. They uh, defend against uh, zombies and creepers. Let's take a peek. Are there any? No. Did I? Darn it. I went too far out. I like to kind of get myself in the door. Uh, it's harder to do as the game gets better and better. They make it harder to like clip through things. So that way you can go back and forth. Um, but yeah, so this is all set up so that way they can read if they get bored. Um, there's manuals for what to do in case of an emergency. But yeah, it's all good. And over here, I'm not really going to go into too much with this because this is Joe and I's project. Once it's done, I'll show it off. But this is that whole um, item send system where one side will just be a cart with a button. I put the items he wants in it, hits the button, and it goes to him. And then the other side will be the items he's sending to me. I need to play around with the comparator because I have an idea uh, to have like an inverted comparator signal going to a powered track. The cart comes up with items, and it stops, and it starts loading them to a hopper. And when the hopper has items in it, it's sending the signal, which is getting inverted. The comparator sends the signal, gets inverted, and turns the um, powered cart track off so the cart stays there. Once it's done, it repowers it, and it lets it go empty back to Joe's place. So that way Joe doesn't have to worry about me sending that cart. Uh, he talked about having a timer system. I think I can get this to work. If I do, I'll be really proud of myself because I'm not good with redstone and that's probably going to be the most imaginative thing I've ever done, um, which is kind of sad. Uh, but that's why, you know, I watch other people to make really cool things like this. Like this on my own, never would have been able to do that. Never in my wildest redstone dreams. Uh, but when this is done, I'll show this off more in detail. But other than that, I think that's really all that's changed. Uh, I just really like this bookshelf. It is very nice. And I just wish I could actually put items on without them, you know, just kind of floating there like that. Uh, but the trap doors doesn't, don't really let you do too much. But anyways, we'll pop up here. Oh, and I'm thinking about changing the stairwell, too. I might have to expand it out if I do it, because... This portion right here will get made into quartz, but I can't really change this. So there will always be a block jump here. But then right here I'll probably have stairs, so it's nicer. Um, I just need to work on it now that everything's set up. But I think that's about it for today. Uh, I just wanted to show off the changes. Uh, I think I'm going to teach Bubba, Bam Bam, Boo Boo. I don't know why I'm stuck with bees. Ow! For him. That is bad zombie. It's bad zombie. No, I can't be mad at you here. Have a potato. You'll eat it later. I know you will. Let's see. That room. I haven't done anything there. I'm still using quartz for other projects, and then I run out. So this will probably stay like this for a little while. I really do think it's going to stay like that. Because it just fits this room. So right up out here will be the transition, and the quartz and uh, mossy brick will stop there. And it'll just be nice and mossy cobblestone and dirt and look really pretty. Uh, Riker here, we're soon going to let him out as soon as I make sure that he can't hurt himself on anything. I actually had a fear the other day that if I let him out in there, he'll amble through and get stuck in there with the zombie. Or he'll somehow make his way all the way through here and I'll come home one day and he'll have gotten in here to the cactuses and killed himself. Because uh, I, I swear that's what happened to my... Uh, my bat. I swear it killed itself in the water. I think it got too close and drowned. Um, oh, and I need to get rid of that thing because I was testing to see if he would roost, but I just don't think this is safe for animals. Uh, and that's why our baby zombie will stay in here. But, okay. Uh, if you guys have any th ideas for names for him, go on ahead and post them. Till then, I'll probably call him Bam Bam. Um, or Mr. Bam Bam. You like that, Mr. Bam Bam? Jump if you like it. Can I make him jump? If I get over here really quick to this other side. Come on. Come on. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to teach him his ABCs, and you have a great day, YouTube. Bye-bye.